Hello and welcome to our video. Today we are going to talk about sodium bicarbonate. What is the importance of baking soda or sodium bicarbonate for kidney patients? Actually it is given to increase the number of bicarbonate in blood. As we all know that kidney removes waste and extra fluid from our body like creatinine, urea, potassium etc that are produced by the cells of our body and maintain a healthy balance of water, salt and mineral in our body. All these things can be seen in KFT reports but one thing that is not mentioned in it is pH of your blood means how much the blood is acidic. Actually when the kidneys excrete waste from the body it also removes acid that is produced in metabolism of cell that takes place when one eats something. During metabolism various acid produced and kidney takes out all of these if doesn't it accumulates in the body like creatinine and urea and create various problems. So if acids are accumulating in the body it makes the blood pH acidic and it further harms kidney badly. That's why almost all the nephrologists prescribe a medicine to all kidney failure patients that is nodosis and subosis. It is a tablet, it is nothing else only baking soda or sodium bicarbonate. Here you must understand why is it given. Sodium bicarbonate does not have its basic nature but when kidney patients take it, it acts as a buffer which means it does not let the blood be acidic or you can say that it prevents blood to be acidic. That's the reason all the patients of Sai Sanjeevani are advised for KFT and serum bicarbonate test so that they must get the values of bicarbonate present in blood. If the number of bicarbonate is getting less it means the blood is becoming acidic and kidney problem is also increasing at a very high speed. The patients who are taking nodosis or subosis and things are fine that's good but if any one of you not getting it or you have no tablet or unable to buy due to any reason so simply you can take spoonful of baking soda with water. It will give you the same benefit that nodosis and subosis gives. Yes, baking soda is very simple and easily available thing but the benefit is really tremendous. If kidney failure patients take it, it helps to maintain the pH level in blood. It also slows down the progression of kidney disease. So I hope one thing has really got clear to you all that as the kidney are facing problems due to high blood pressure, high sugar, IgA nephropathy or polycystic kidney disease and on other hand blood is also becoming acidic due to both these kidneys are unable to work properly and fails. To keep kidneys healthy and safe sodium bicarbonate is advised. Now if any of the kidney failure patient want to reverse kidney condition or want to stop the increasing level of creatinine and urea one must understand its reason why actually it is increasing. Through this video I will try to make you understand how to identify the cause of kidney failure and how can you control it or stop it. To overcome this first of all you have to check your medical history means if you have high BP problem for a long time if your BP was above 130 90 or even more and get ultrasound in which you see kidney is shrinking its size is decreasing so I tell you high blood pressure is the major cause of it because due to high blood pressure right amount of blood oxygen nutrition doesn't reach due to kidney starts shrinking. In the same way people who have been suffering from sugar or diabetes for a long time and get ultrasound done they may find the kidney size normal but sugar level was high or still high even now controlled but one thing that is for sure is it harmed your kidney. How? Let me tell you. It is because kidney works as a pressure wall. As you all have seen that a cooker has a valve on it 
and when the pressure creates in the cooker it opens up kidney also works in the same manner when sugar level of your body goes above 200 kidney opens the valve and remove the extra sugar level but in case of kidney patient kidneys have to work more and just because of diabetes when the blood of the high sugar enters into kidney and affects the cells of kidney so due to it kidneys got affected in two ways first they have to work a lot and due to high sugar kidney cell get affected that slows down the kidney work efficiency so whether a person is suffering from high bp or high sugar and want to protect kidney avoid dialysis or transplant so the first and the foremost thing is to control the root cause of it and this is how the patients are treated in science and jeevni first of all we overcome the problem so that the further damage can be controlled and can reverse the levels of kidney failure so i hope you really understand the kidneys function as well as the importance of baking soda for kidney patients if you have any query or doubt you can contact us on our given number or you can take free of cost consultancy from our doctors you can just call on the number given below that's all for today's video i will meet you in my next video thank you